Hello guys, knowing the correct smoke lineups in Counter-Strike 2 is an integral part of any team's victory. In today's video, we'll go through the most necessary console commands for quick and comfortable learning smoke grenade lineups with you. Get your pants and notebooks ready and let's go! We will be learning on Dust 2, but of course all this knowledge is applicable to all maps in CS2. Usually everyone starts by enabling the option in the main menu that shows the trajectory and the landing spot of the grenade. By the way, there is a separate command for this window. However, from our own experience, we can say that the grenade window is more of a feature rather than a really useful option, available only in training mode. Besides, as soon as the smoke pops, the window will disappear, so it's not worth getting used to it from the very beginning. It is much better to immediately learn to use the no clip command to quickly move to the smoke landing spot after throwing it, and see what spots it covers and where there might be one ways left, for example. By the way, binding any command to any key is quite simple. For example, for no clip, Open the console and after the standard SV cheats one command, enter bind alt no clip. Now the no clip command is toggled by pressing the alt button. Guys, have you checked out our coolest AK skin Azimov yet? And we're just conducting a raffle. Subscribe to the channel, hit a like button and write a comment. I participate in the skin drawing. And in a week we will randomly choose a winner from the comments and give him this skin. Do it now and good luck. The second super useful command enables displaying the grenade's flight trajectory in real time. You will actually see a tail behind it like a command. The number at the end of the command indicates the time in seconds during which the trajectory will be displayed. Firstly, you will clearly see how your smoke flies and what it bounces off and where. And secondly, what's much more important, you can set a long delay time, for example 15 seconds, and when you throw the grenade, you will see the trajectory of the previous throw and if it was good, try to repeat it. This way you can make several throws and choose the best option. To avoid waiting all the time for the smoke to disappear, there is a super useful command. Replace key with any button, and now the smoke will disappear like magic when you press the key. And finally, an awesome command that for some reason few people know about. It will automatically repeat your throw regardless of your position on the map as many times as you want. This opens up a mass of opportunities. For example, you throw a smoke somewhere on the map, then go there, repeat these throws through the command and again look at what positions are covered and how best to play them. The second possibility is to learn to play the opposite. You throw a smoke into a position via the console, as if the enemy team threw it and look for a way to play it. Go around the closed space, jump somewhere or hide in a hiding spot. Do I need to explain how much this develops tactical thinking? A couple useful tips in closing. Watching small guide videos and repeating them is very useful, but it's even better if you sometimes try to independently find nine obvious lineups on maps yourself. This is already the path of a true pro, my friend. Well, on our channel you will find playlists with guides and shorts on smoke lineups for different maps. Don't forget to subscribe and like so you don't miss new videos. Let me know in the comments which commands you already knew and which you are seeing for the first time. See you soon.